Darm gesund, Mensch gesund. That means a healthy gut leads to a healthy human. Welcome back to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And today we're talking about leaky gut. It's also called increased intestinal permeability. So leaky gut describes a damaged leaky intestinal mucosa and is considered a serious cause of numerous chronic disease. Most of these are considered incurable by conventional medicine, such as allergies and autoimmune disease. Unfortunately, very few doctors know about leaky gut, and some even deny that leaky gut really exists. So, my guest today is André Blanc. He is a naturopath in Switzerland and is author of numerous books. His most important book is the Inology book with over 900 pages. In today's edition, the topic is gut health and its massive significance to holistic health. So a long introduction and welcome with us, Andre. Yeah, thank you, Stephen, for having me. It's my pleasure. It is a topic that we haven't talked before here on this channel and it seems it's very important because there's also a relationship with hormone balance, which we will talk of uh, a little bit later. But we have five questions for you. Let's start with... The first one. Explain to us what exactly is leaky gut, Andre. Okay, so this is a very short overview about leaky gut and gut health because it is a huge topic. Okay, so leaky gut means a permeable intestine. Now we have to know that every intestine must be permeable. Of course, permeable for nutrients. Otherwise, the nutrients could not get into the blood and thus not uh, to the cells. So the intestine of every human being is semi-permeable. Semi does not mean 50% in this case, but homeostasis means the wisdom of the body determines which nutrients and how much of them are needed. So what exactly is leaking? Gut means literally the digestive tract, but is also often used as a, a stomach or belly. So there is no stomach leaking. That would be uh, very bad, of course, but it's not the, the case. It's a leaky gut. So more precisely, we should understand it as a leaky small intestine. Yeah. So some people have increased intestinal permeability or hyperpermeability. This means that their intestine allow more than just water and nutrients to pass through the mucus lining into our bloodstream. So they leak. Now we have the problem if our gut is leaking or more precisely our small intestine is leaky. That not only the very important nutrients and water are passing through the mucus lining but also toxic substances. They get into our bloodstream and your immune system, or how I call it, the homeostasis, is reacting. So the result is what they call autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. And what exactly are the causes of this leaky gut? So the causes are not only for leaky gut, but for Every disease is, the answer is, stress. So, but most people, when they are thinking about stress, they are thinking only about psychological stress. So we have two types of stress. We have oi stress, or like hermesis stress, which is positive and healthy. And we have the stress, which is, negative and making you sick, like toxic stress, like stress to pay your bills, stress in your relationship, stress with your boss, stress in your job and whatever. It's toxic stress. And of course, it's, um, it has a huge impact on our gut health. And of course, then for our overall health and for our body. So, but most people, when they are thinking about stress, they are thinking about, okay, stress, psychological stress. 
but there is also a physical stress. And of course, it could be physical de-stress, which is negative and make you sick, like to running a marathon or high level sports or high level, like, you know, bodybuilding with all the substances. So this is, of course, physical stress and has a huge impact on our gut health, of course. But they forget the physical stress made from our food, like bad, um, bad or, or, or not only nowadays, we should not say it's a bad diet. It's a toxic diet. So um, simple sugars, uh, wheat, which contains a huge amount um, of gluten and gliadine, it's, or gliadine is the same. Then so much dairy, so much meat, um, fluoride, toothpaste, 5G, all the heavy metal toxins out there, microplastic, all the things. This is the physical stress. And not to forget um, all the bad fats, like, um, for example, plant-based plant -based fats like sunflower oil. Mm -hmm. So sunflower oil is cheap. So that's why it's in almost 99%, almost every product out there. Also, some people are thinking, okay, I'm going to the, to the natural food store. Okay, but sunflower oil is in almost every product. So, um, and sunflower oil has a omega-6 to 3 ratio of 130 to 1. That means the inflammations in your gut and therefore in your body are pre-programmed. So the WHO recommends a omega-6 to 3 ratio of um, 5 to 1. But I think it's completely wrong. I recommend a omega-6 to 3 ratio from 1 to 3. That means 1 times omega-6, 3 times omega-3. And as we all know how healthy and important omega-3 is for our gut health and for our health. Yeah. So, yeah, it's stress, but not only the psychological stress, the physical stress. And most important is uh, uh, our diet. Yeah. Sure thing. So what are the typical symptoms of leaky gut? Yeah, the, the thing with leaky gut is that the symptoms are not really specific. So, of course, so there is a huge range of symptoms that are connected to a so-called leaky gut. But I would say that most of the people out there are suffering from a leaky gut. I mean, look at the symptoms. Uh, a diabetic foot or lower leg is amputated every 20 seconds. Every 20 seconds. And every other person tendency increasing. I mean, just think about, and you know it better than anybody, think about the last two years. Tendency super fast increasing, so every other person tendency increasing is building or are building cancer cells. So, and so many people are sick out there. And of course, there are typical symptoms like, okay, they call it autoimmune diseases, like chronic fatigue, skin problems, migraines, rheumatism, uh, joint uh, pain, inflammations, so restless legs. It's from leaky gut, sleeping problems, leaky gut, all the things. And in German, we have a saying, a, uh, in, in German, we have a saying, um, um, Darm gesund, Mensch gesund. That means a healthy gut uh, is 
God leads to a healthy human. And the other way, it's like a sick God leads to a sick human, of course. Mm -hmm. So, and as we all know, 80% of our immune system sits in our gut. So it's very important, the uh, um, gut health. But how does it work? So the following is a, 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 a key um, to our physical health. I explain it in, like, in, in, this is the way to explain it in my words, like for the natural medicine way. Okay, so our food or our nutrition, our food forms our blood. Of course, without food, no, no blood, nothing. Okay, our food forms our blood. Our blood forms our cells and our cells form our organs. And now backwards, our organs cannot be healthier than the cells that make up the organs. And our cells cannot be healthier than the blood that forms the cells. Our blood cannot be healthier than the food that forms our blood. And now our food cannot be healthier than our consciousness that chooses the food. Now, Stephen, the bridge is built to understand how important our consciousness or a healthy consciousness is for choosing the right food for our health mm. or choosing the right media or choosing or, or building uh, the, the healthy thoughts. So, yeah. Okay. So if it um, gives so many different symptoms, how to make the diagnosis, Andre? You could do like a blood diagnosis, of course, and then you could see it, of course, yeah. What, what to look for in the blood to, that shows um, leaky gut? Enzyme markers. It's called uh, SIBO and other enzymes from the, um, from the colon. Okay. There is a special type of blood diagnosis and then you, you can see that you have a leaky gut. So how does a leaky gut impact hormonal balance? Because that's something we're very interested in on this channel. So nutrients are needed to produce hormones, of course. So if your gut is weakened, it cannot absorb the nutrients to build hormones like thyroid hormones, estrogen, progesterone and, and cortisol, for example, our microbiome plays a major role in activating and eliminating certain hormones. When there is an imbalance in these microbes due to stress, core stress, yeah, uh, toxins, antibiotics, gut infections, or a poor diet, it can have a huge impact on hormone levels and function. Now it's interesting for you, um, for estrogen in particular, there is a group of microbes called the estrobolone that helps regulate levels of circulating estrogen. Normally after estrogen are deactivated by our liver, they head to our intestines where most of them exit our body via our stool. But in case of estrobolone imbalance, instead of exiting, most of the estrogens are reactivated and recirculated throughout or through our body. That's one reason why we have higher estrogen levels in our body. That's very interesting, especially for men. Um, okay. Is it also the xenoestrogens from the outside, like in foods like soy and uh, food uh, colorings and so on? Would not say xenoestrogens, more uh, yes, okay, that too. But then if you have a healthy gut, the gut is able or are able to eliminate mm -hmm. these uh, estrogens. Yeah. If the gut is leaky, 
it will be reactivated. Okay, right. So last question, maybe most, most important. How can I heal from a leaky gut? Yeah, so most people um, are asking their doctor or their therapist, what can I take for symptom X, Y, and what can I add and what can I take? So the question is wrong. And also often the answer is wrong because first we should not ask what to add and to add and to add more and more and more because that does not lead to uh, holistic health. That does lead to more symptoms. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, we should ask what made me sick and then, so we are talking about what to do, but first we should ask what made me sick and then to remove all unhealthy things. And then if needed or is necessary, we can add things. Okay. So, um, in my practice as an arthropod, I was asking my, um, my patient four questions, always four questions. First, why are you contacting me? Second, what are you expecting from me? And third, what are you willing to do by yourself for your health? And fourth, most important question, who is responsible for your state or for your condition? So, and then, as you know, Stephen, um, a lot or most of, not, not most, but often people are blaming the outside. They don't want to take self-responsibility so but this is this are this is basic um if you want to heal so and in natural medicine then i explain to my patient the five area to holistic health to heal a leaky gut okay they have to understand what we are doing I don't say just take the pill, do that. No, they have to understand because otherwise it's not the way to holistic health. Okay, so for, these are five areas, not five points because these are huge areas. First area is to understand mea culpa. Mea culpa or the mea culpa means self-responsibility. And then I'm asking, okay, does it make sense to take self-responsibility for all your action, for your life, for your health, for your mother, for everything? And the answer is, of course, yes, it makes sense. Take self-responsibility. And then second is to remove all unhealthy things. I mean, go to your kitchen, remove everything on her go to your fridge remove everything unhealthy thing and when i talk about food i don't only talk about like physical food or the physical things no remove all unhealthy like also not not only the physical part in your life but also the metaphysical part like unhealthy energies unhealthy re toxic relationship so remove everything so and then People are, does it make sense to remove, if you want to, if you are sick and want to be healthy, does it make sense to remove all, all uh, unhealthy things? Yes, it makes sense. And then people are often asking, okay, but what can I eat now? My kitchen is empty. My fridge is empty. What can I do now? Then I say, yes, of course. It's empty because why? because you were surrounded from toxins 24 seven. So, okay, first, self-responsibility. Second, remove all unhealthy things, not only to heal a leaky gut, to heal everything, every disease. Okay, and then for, th um, the third area is to detoxify. So does it make sense to detoxify? Of course, your kitchen is empty, your fridge is empty. Of course, yes but your body is still full of toxins. Okay, it makes sense to detoxify with zeolite and with, to detox your body. And then the fourth area is now to fill up 
your body, not only your body, also mind, and uh, spirit and mind, to fill up your life, your body, your spirit, your mind, with very, very healthy food, healthy supplements, everything w which is needed, okay? To fill up your body with very, very healthy food. And also surrounding yourself with nice people, healthy people, and not as we saw with the last two years, so many, it's sad, but it is so many sick people out there. So fourth area is filling up your body or uh, your life with healthy things. And fifth area is activation. So activation means cardio training, resistance training, um, going bar feet, walking bar feet outside, activation these receptors, um, taking cold showers in the morning, not cold and warm, three minutes ice cold showers every morning. Huge benefit. And ice baths and so on, meditation, whatever. So activation. Does it make sense? Of course. And this is only just, I explained that this is basics because people have to understand health and not to say, okay, okay, my doctor recommended or naturopath or my therapist. No, they have to understand health by themselves. And actually it's simple. Just understand self-responsibility, remove all unhealthy things, detoxify and fill up with healthy things and then activation. Of course, it makes sense, but this is, these are the basics. Okay, mm, and now maybe to, to, to explain um, uh, particularly what can I do, um, especially for the leaky gut. First, of course, remove all unhealthy things. Uh, intermittent fasting is a, a key factor Give your gut time to heal. Let it rest. Give it time. Intermittent fasting. So then, tight your uh, mucosa lining. Tight your leak tight. Yeah, because we know it must be permeable. But tight it with um, uh, L-glutamine. L-glutamine is a key uh, uh, product to heal and tighten again and heal the mucosa lining for to heal a leaky gut, L-glutamine. But in higher dosages, like 30 to 40 grams a day split it. So it's very important for uh, sleeping problems, for restless legs and so many other things, L-glutamine, but in higher dosages. And then the next step, if you did that, then we have to um, build and produce new, uh, a new and healthy microbiomes, new and healthy microbiomes with fermented products like sauerkraut, uh, apple cider vinegar, miso soup, and so on. Okay, so and um, it's simple. Just remove all unhealthy things, and then, of course. Give it time. It needs it needs months to heal a leaky gut. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Very interesting. So uh, I'm sure no medication, right? No uh, pharmacological uh, aids there. It's not necessary in this case because it would it that would mean add something. No, just let let it heal. It's. Mm -hmm. Uh, self-healing, everything is self-healing, in this case, leaky gut, okay? Mm -hmm. And by the way, L-glutamine is also key um, for liver problems. Mm -hmm. It's, it's. I didn't know it before, but, but um, years ago we found out L-glutamine is so important. But if you just take five grams, no, higher dosages, and then it, it's, it's working so well. L-glutamine, yes, Rest for restless legs, sleeping problems, all the things, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Um, 
Can people read more in your book about it, I'm sure? Not especially in the Inology book. This is um, the, the Inology book is um, about the natural law. It's a magical compass to understand the natural law or the order in the universe. So it's, um, yeah, it's 912 pages. It's translated in English. It's, this is Inology or in, in French, uh, Inology. And in, in English, it's Inology. But I'm writing a book about Leaky Gut in German. It will be published end of March, and then it will be translated in English to about 550 pages. Yeah, and then yes. Great. Looking so, forward. I think there is also an online course about Leaky Gut on the Vivo Terra uh, website. Yes. Okay, I'll put the links to the book and the website in the description of this video. So for everyone who wants to check it out, uh, make sure to do that. Uh, seems very interesting, and we're looking forward to the book uh, on Leaky Gut as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Andre. Thank you too, Steven. Thank you, it's a pleasure.